today we're having our 10th year anniversary uh, sponsoring the Youth Against Violence program. This is a, a proactive program uh, where we teach the young people to understand that they are important, that they are here for a purpose. And we talk about mindset, you know, thinking about the mind is the most powerful thing that they have. And to make sure that they uh, use their mind to do the correct thing, not the thing that's going to bring them into conflict with the law. Uh, so it's a, it's a great, powerful day. Ten years, you know, ten years ago, I, I, I didn't think we would still be doing it, but uh, it's, a re it's a rewarding experience for me uh, to get up for every Saturday for ten years to come here. Oh, uh, it's awesome. So we thank the citizens of Douglasville, and uh, we thank the young people for coming and being humble enough to receive this information. And we think that a lot of these young people has went out and changed their life, to change their mindset. And, and, and they receive power and dominion when they change their mindset to do the right thing. Hi, I'm Councilwoman Dr. LaShawn Bird Danley, and we, I'm here with my colleague, Richard Siegel. And we are here celebrating with Chief Sparks and the police department their 10 year anniversary. And it's really, really nice. It started at Jesse Davis Park, and now it's grown to something really great. So what I want to say to you all is this is a new day, a new beginning for you. I want you to bloom where you're planted. It doesn't matter where you've come from. If you have one person, just a mom in the house or a mom and dad or your grandparents or foster care, whatever. You got that piece of paper in your head and that's your passport. That's your ticket to have a new beginning.